Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our twin twin twins. Ninja. All right. So if you in any way at all identify as a DF Divine Feminine or a DM Divine Masculine Hunty, then this reading is for Jewel. All right. Let us go ahead and jump into it. See what the messages are. This spirit has here for Jewel. All right. We have loss. Okay. Hmm. It's given five of swords, five of cups. You. Yeah. See, loss you. Someone feels like they... I am telling you, boy, spirit is not playing with. All right, we have anger and they're upset about it. They're frustrated. Duality, okay, but communication is key to helping them release this anger, to bring in more peace. I feel like, <sighs> put yourself on whichever side you go, I'm just gonna read it. Someone is upset because they feel like they lost you. However, they're excited because they feel like they still have some sort of access to you. So they get some sort of peace from that, but they are still angry and upset because they feel like they lost you to something or someone. There's tears, there's sadness here, okay? There's frustration, there's built up tension, okay? Because I feel like it's two sides to this anger thing, you know? It's not necessarily them being angry for real, but they feel like they're not getting access to you in a certain way. So although they may still have access to you, it may be limited. It may be, uh, I don't know. Like, that's basically what I'm getting, okay? But you give them some sort of peace, though, because we have message of peace and we have message of freedom. Happiness, you make them happy. But they're having a tough time forgiving Okay, because forgiveness is in reverse. So let us see what we're learning here. What is this about? We have fear. Yeah, anger, fear mm -hmm. goes hand in hand. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Someone could also be afraid of losing you for good. So although they already feel like they lost you to something or someone or maybe just in a certain way. Like, you know how you friend zone somebody? Okay, it could be like that. Like someone feels like, Again, they don't have access to you in a way that they would like. It's something like that. Okay. But it's about balance here. Or balance is needed. Let us see. <clears throat> Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Duality. Yeah, balance. Okay. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So understanding and feeling frustrated, but also having peace in some way, okay? Releasing doubt, releasing fear, releasing anger, releasing pride, okay? Being compassionate, being understanding. Yeah, death, there's a transformation. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Okay. And worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah, communicate. Express what it is that you're feeling because you create your reality. So it says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind with what you think. So if you're always worried about something or if these are the things you're thinking, well, you're bringing more of that energy into your connection. And again, forgiveness. So someone could be struggling with that. We have, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So someone can't get love to you if you're upset with them. So I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality, including but not limited to your divine counterpart. So this is how they're feeling, how you're feeling, whatever. Put yourself whichever side you go. We have Archangel Michael here. Okay. Again, you create your reality. What do you want it to look like? Okay. Lost. Again, ghosted, blocked, cut off. That's why I said lost and lost are two different things. However, that's how someone feels. Feel like they lost you. Okay. So we have synchronicities, signs everywhere. Okay. This is just another one. All right. See? 
dirty little secret down low okay so someone could have been in that energy you could have been doubting that they love you for real but it's not like that at all yeah again you make them happy someone is just not expressing how it is that they're feeling so you're keeping these things to yourself and it's blocking the connection okay yeah because see we have on the table offer proposal commitment but how can new energy come in if the old energy is still blocking everything yeah so we have obsession someone feels like they have to have you and in order to have you they may feel like they have to make a certain commitment or and again it's something here that could be blocking that or they feel is blocking that okay could just simply be resentment being angry with someone about something okay pressure cooker rage ready to explode all right let us see single tragedy so when someone is available and get what i'm saying open to this the other person is like nope i'm good a ghosted blocks cut off okay because you're sad instead of looking at it from their perspective as well whatever it was was in the past this is today the present now in the moment and then we have history past exactly so it's literally up to you to pick and choose where you want to live you want to live in the past and bring more of that energy in or go backwards in life or you want to live in the present and bring that energy in more current energy more presence more gifts you get what i'm saying so it's totally up to you what you want to do but that's what i'm getting here Oh, what is this love yeah it's like a lost love okay insatiable something that they feel like they have to have and this is something that they're going to let you know in the very near future yeah commitment okay it's here someone may be pretending that they don't see that you're their soulmate but they do see again it could be something here about uh time it just keeps coming up like that like i don't know everything has its place you get what i'm saying that's how i feel about that so i don't know maybe someone just needs to hear it everything has its place all right someone is triggered triggered to heal that's what's happening we have risk it all someone wants to risk it all come towards you here okay however they may not be in a position to do so so how can i do something that i'm not able to do that doesn't yeah, so again, someone may be thinking they're being spiteful or they're doing something. No, they're not. Okay. Wow. Yeah, someone thinks they're being immature, childish, petty, reckless. But they're looking at you like this. Power couple. So no, it's not that at all. They just have to get certain things together. That's what it looks like. Yeah, we have ghosting. Okay. So a lot of you are in this energy of ghosting this person and leaving them alone. Because you feel like they did something in a very petty way. But again, it's something here about resentment that needs to be let go of. <clears throat> but they did something to put you in that energy. You didn't just put yourself there. Okay, so th whatever they did, you were unimpressed with it. You feel like this person is always lacking motivation or always making excuses, always being stagnant. And it's like, uh, why not just go ahead and offer that then? This lock says, I love us. <laughs> Solid foundation, higher commitment, loyalty. Okay, twin flame, magnetic, intense emotions, mirroring. So you both are mirroring. I feel like you just need to surrender, go with the flow. There's, again, an ego death. All right, someone wants intimacy with you because they feel this spark. Okay, and they're about to reveal and confess these feelings and emotions to you. Okay, so let us see, you guys. First of all, someone thinks about you a lot maybe more than you realize page of wands okay exciting news oh okay hmm some of them have grown bold enough to make a certain move that's what i'm getting it as someone's counterpart has grown bold enough to make a certain move but we see that here with the risk at all don't we someone loves you um this person wants to show you that 
you know, you can depend on them, you can rely on them. They want to take care of you in some way here. This could be a caregiver as well. We have the world, okay, the five of swords, the death card. Now, when I say caregiver, I mean this is just someone who's a natural caregiver. They take care of people around them. Or it could be their actual profession. You put yourself wherever you go. Okay. But yeah, here's the five of swords energy. Like I said, we started off with that. I said it's giving five of swords. Look. That's what they feel. They've grown. Okay. In a way. They have evolved. They have um, gone through an ego death. A transformation. Because they feel like they lost something. Due to all these outside interferences. So in the event that they get an opportunity to renew it. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to renew it. And they see you as very independent. And so if they're not in a certain position right now to be able to give you certain things, they're not going to do that. That doesn't make any sense in their mind. You understand? So we have you at a Ten of Pentacles. They would much rather be able to give you everything than to give you nothing. Yeah, because you can give yourself certain things. So when you're able to give yourself certain things, do certain things for yourself and others around you, they have to be able to match that or better. That's what they feel. And it's a fact. You know what I mean? So, yeah, two of wands. But if there is a choice, you are that. So, again, some of them have grown bold enough to do certain things which has come toward you. Yeah, ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. Yes. Okay, for sure. Because it's either they can sit in this energy of feeling like they lost you and they're angry about it. Or they can come toward you. They can say something. They can do something. They can have this brand new beginning. It's totally up to them. A lot of them have prayed for, <clears throat> like... A restart and now they're getting it and so it's up to them what they want to do with it yeah we have the king of swords but they think a lot this person they're upset with you about something okay eight of cups take the sex out of it okay but they're upset with you about something and it could be because they feel like you walked away from them eight of cups is emotional withdrawal they feel like you walked away from them or you abandoned them or hmm, it's something like that that they're upset with you about and they're not saying it um yeah, the King of Wands, they're not saying it. This person refuses. It could have been that they failed, they lost you to someone else. Like you just emotionally abandoned them for someone else. Or it could feel like, um, yeah, it was just 1221 on a timestamp. So mirrored energy. But duality, both of you could have been made to feel like this at some point on your journey. Whether that's choosing other people and things over the connection or choosing another relationship over the connection. Both of you could have been made to feel that way. And there is like, you know, harboring energy there. Now, it may not be as severe as resentment, but it's definitely there. We have anger, resentment, you know, fear, doubt. So it's all of these things that come up now because, well, you know, you walked away before. It was so easy for you to detach before, you know. So that's where someone is coming from. Um, excuse me, y'all, when y'all hear that sound on the mic because my hand hit the mic. <laughs> But, yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah, so someone would like to reconcile, you know, because they feel stuck on you in some way, shape, or fashion. You know, again, judgment. They have some sort of discernment that says, hey, this is what I want. I want a long-term relationship or commitment with this person. Um, I would like to manifest them into my life. We saw love and unconditional love at that, where it's genuine, it's certain, it's true, it's pure, right? It's the, um, the love that everyone is looking for, that everyone is desiring, ultimately, um, you want true love. You don't just want someone to say it. <laughs> so we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, okay? And I think that's where both parties are coming from. You don't just want someone to just say it. Where are the actions? You know, maybe both of you are looking at it like, well, shoot. If, if there was love there, we would have put it on lock. We wouldn't have just detached so easily. That's not what I'm seeing, though. I'm just saying. I'm able to interpret what you guys are feeling, empath, but I'm also able to see what I need to see. Okay, so this is what's to come in the very near future. Them letting you know, this is how I feel about you. All right, so let us see. Two of Cups. This is the love energy. Mm. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Oh wow. And the Star. So this person is. How do I put this? I don't want to say they're upset with themselves for loving you, but it's like. In the event that they're not telling you that they are in love with you, 
because that's what it is it's one thing to love somebody it's another thing to be in love with someone somebody they're upset with themselves for being in love with you because they feel like um it's not reciprocated and again that's not the case <laughs> i don't see that here all right, so I just want you guys to be mindful of everything that came out in this reading and really look at it for what it is. You know, you got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, okay? Someone feeling regretful, remorseful. Someone could also feel regretful and remorseful because they lied to you in the past. Let's get a little bit more on that Seven of Swords. They could have lied to you. That could be what it is, you know? I feel like there was some form of deception here, and in some way you found out about it, and yeah. Nine of Pentacles, you just went and did your thing. It could have been this person lied to you and said they were single and they weren't because the Two of Swords is a blindfold. Somebody could have lied to you and said, yeah, I'm available, but they really were not. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Uh, something like that. But that's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? Um, it could also be, like I said, just having fib to you about what their true feelings are because they feel like they're not in a certain position to be able to move forward anyway. Nine of Pentacles is, you know, being um, financially independent. So in the event this person is not in the best of places with that, we did see the EBT card, then, I mean, they just don't want to go ahead and get into a relationship. Look, I could barely take care of myself. If that's where a person is coming from, why would I want to go ahead and get into a relationship and take care of somebody else? That doesn't make any sense. You get what I'm saying? So unless this person feels like, because in their mind, this feminine or this masculine is very independent and they do everything for themselves and, again, other people around them. So if I'm not in a position to do what I would like to do, then why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense. Again. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe that's, that's my way of thinking. I'm not trying to make you think the way I think. That's just how I feel, honey. You know, if it makes sense to you and you like it, honey, then go ahead and do that. But that don't make no sense to me, right? So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already... Go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.